All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you how we set up the TX-12. Then again, I just got my crankbait, my Timber Tiger here, just like before. I'm going to set only a 30-foot lead back. We're in pretty shallow water right now. We're going to run that 12. we got a weed bed just off to our outside right here. We're kind of kind of in what we call a trough. The weed bed off to our right, we're kind of in the trough. And then our inside is real shallow water. We came over that weed bed, I got my side imaging going, and I'm marking a lot of fish inside those weeds right now. So I'm only going to let this back 15 foot. All right, there's my 15. Now, TX-12, like I explained earlier, doesn't use a, a double action flag because of its size. It's very easy to read the board in the water because it's small. So we're going to show you where these pins come into play now. So now we simply, we got our lead set, take our line, open up the clip, set it in there. This is the vice clip by Church. Tension adjustable, so if you're having a problem with it sliding, just take a screwdriver, just a half turn, quarter turn, not just a little bit, and it'll tighten it up a lot. Now you take your, your uh, trailing line, open up this clip, set it on the inside. See? That's how it locks in. Basically, for some reason, this clip would come undone. You're not going to lose your board. It is going to slide down towards the fish, which I don't like to do because if, if, say, my hand's the fish and the board stops here, that fish uses this board for leverage to come off. So try to do your best to keep it fixed in place. So if it is sliding, make sure you make your adjustments. All right, there's the 12 there, just like we did on the walleye board. Set it in the water. Let it start going out. Now, I, I like being in the situation we're in because I'm going to kind of show you everything full circle. We just talked about kind of our shallow water applications, running the 12 out. And we're in the trough, so we got shallow water with a weed bed, our deep trough. Then up there, real shallow water, kind of a rocky bottom. Well, there again, lock it in place. I like to back the drag off, just about to take line, tighten it a little bit. Now while I'm talking to you guys, if a fish hits that, I'm going to hear it. Now we're going to set up the stern planer, because not only do we want to target the fish in this weed bed right here, we also want to target the fish that I'm marking right below the boat. That's what's so nice when you got side imaging, like I got in the Hummingbird 1198. I got it shooting out to the weed bed, and I'm graphing right underneath us. I'm looking both places. I like to consider side imaging planer boards with eyes. I'm actually looking at fish up on that weed bed right where my boards are going over and I'm looking at fish right underneath the bottom of the boat. So we got our sides set up. We're, sk we're skimming our crankbaits right over the top of them weeds. Now we're going to set a stern planer right behind the boat and work on this trough. 